Hi, this is Cliff Brake from Beck Systems. Today we're going to be looking at integrating Simple IoT with a PLC using Modbus. So this is the hardware. This is a single board computer running Simple IoT. And this here is a Velocio PLC. And we have this PLC connected to the single board computer via a USB cable. Now this USB interface looks like a um, USB serial port to Linux and then we can run Modbus over that connection. You can also connect uh, RS-232 to one of these connectors and run Modbus over that. And then other models of this PLC have an RS-45 port as well that you can talk Modbus. But for close connections and for development it's really nice to just connect a USB cable and go. So to program this PLC there's a program that Velocio supplies and let's open up our... So it's a it's a simple flow charting type application common in industrial control and this this little loop here is a counter that that runs a, a timer that's blinking an LED on and off so basically this LED here is blinking on and off at 1 Hertz so that's what this this time this loop does and then we're also going to control a few of the outputs via Modbus so what we have if we look at the outputs uh, outputs output 4 D4 is controlled by the the timer that's the one that's blinking and then D5 and D6 are remote writable and configured for Modbus. So then if we go into the Modbus settings we can see that D5 is mapped to Modbus address 1 and D6 to 2. Okay so if we so this browser here is is the um, user interface to the simple IoT instance running on the single board computer. So let's add a Modbus. I'll label this PLC. add two IOs. First one will be D5. So notice in the Windows program the addresses were 1 and 2. And uh, that's what they call a Modbus address and the simple IoT application actually uses the wire addresses. These are the, these are the actual addresses that are on the wire so you have to subtract one to go from the Modbus address to the to the address that's actually in the packet. And we'll do the same for D6. And then D5 is 0. Okay. So now if I turn on D6, we should see uh, an LED turn on right here. It's the clear left one. So let's turn it back off. And let's turn it on. And back off. So once again, we'll see this LED clear on the left, turn on and off, that represents that output's turning on and off. Okay, so we can also turn D5 on. So now the LED between the two that you see now should turn on. Yep, there, two of them are on now. We can turn it back off. So this is... Uh, 
we're, we're looking at the web UI for this single board computer right now, but if we wanted to access this, this PLC remotely, um, I have another instance of Simple IoT running in the cloud. That's this browser window over here. And what we can do is create an upstream from this instance to the cloud instance. And we'll call this to cloud. That's Okay, and I will pause the video while I get an auth token. Okay, so I entered the auth token, and in a few seconds we should see the PLC show up in the cloud. Yep, there it is. So now this this uh, simple IoT instance here is mirrored in the cloud right here. So at this point we can control D6 from the cloud. So let's turn D6 off. And you'll notice the P light on the PLC turned off as well as the UI showed it here. We can turn D6 back on from the cloud. Now it's on at the PLC. Additionally, we'll turn D5 on from the cloud. And again, we see it turn on in the PLC. So you can see that it's pr fairly responsive, and that's because we use NATs to communicate between these two simple IoT instances. So it's a it's a always on connection, so that any changes we make in the cloud are instantly tra transferred down to the single board computer, and then transferred to the PLC over Modbus. So that's interfacing with a PLC. Let us know what you think, and if you have any feedback, thanks.